pay or compensate you for that because the industry is so overwhelmed and so oversaturated with individuals that are um, that are doing it for free. So you have this huge network of individuals who are actually trying to do uh, good in the industry. Um, you have individuals that really have not created a business that generates money into the business, you know, giving advice to others. So you have all this advice running around that, you know, doesn't talk a lot about money. Um, for example, I was in a group the other day and it's a professional uh, retoucher group. And these guys are just brutal. They get on my image. They say that, you know, what the hell are you doing with the skin? This is, you'll never get, you know, anywhere in the industry. Then you take a look at their portfolio and you will find that they're doing nothing either. So I'm not going to digress and talk about the negative things in the industry. I'm going to talk about the positive things. I just had to get that out of the way. Good housekeeping, I believe. So what, what I'm going to talk about now is a project that we have coming up in uh, Utah. And here is what this project is. This project is based on years of us out there within the industry putting our work in front of people that we feel that can uh, influence the trajectory of our business and where we're going. I see a lot of models, photographers, designers getting together, collaborating, and what they'll do is they'll create a beautiful product and they'll throw it up in the same group that created the project. So it very rarely gets outside of that group. And this is a hard psychological issue to overcome for most people because, you know, the photographer is trying to get his or her business outside to other people. They will see other individuals doing something and out there, so they will try to emulate, gather their inspiration on the look and the look alone. A lot of people will forego and not look at the actual um, behind the scenes administrative um, work that is actually going on to get them in that position. So they're only copying what they see. They are not copying what the other individual knows. And that's what we do. We charge for the no part. Whereas most in the industry are giving that advice away for free. We have this saying that, you know, it might sound kind of rude, but we don't give advice, we sell it. So um, what we're doing today um, is kind of giving, a, giving you a little brief synopsis of what's coming up in June. Years of us on the road um, I, when I say years, I mean, for me, it's been almost uh, eight years on the road. For Vilma and I, it's been three years on the road, everywhere. And we have a lot of information that we put together. And this information is going into Utah. Designers. Designers that we've met on the road and models that we've met on the road are coming all to Utah. Two models from Germany bringing German clothes, they're flying in. Two world-renowned photographers from New York, Mel Wright, Carl Lee. These are seasoned um, um, photographers who have been published countless, uh, countless numbers of times. They do the New York Fashion Week. They're very well known in New York. Um, we have a designer from, uh, from Europe that has you know, um, dress some of the rich and famous in Europe, they're bringing, they found enough interest in what we're doing to bring, put their clothes on in a suitcase for a couple of models to bring to Utah to us. Now, how do I explain that without bragging? I'm just going to have to explain it to you. What we, for what we've done is that we've created such a outside of the box, we don't give a damn attitude and what we do. And it really pisses a lot of people off that we don't follow their directions. If an individual were to give us directions that, you know, that they were actually implementing themselves and they were actually receiving, you know, the benefits from that, that would be one thing. But a lot of people that give us direction are 
individuals that have an ideology or a concept in their head or something that they've heard or learned in school. And I don't even follow what people learn in school because, you know, you go to school, if a school has, you know, 2,500 people in a certain program, you have 25 people in that, 2,500 people in that program that are coming out with the same idea of how to get there. They might have a different paintbrush, they might use a different paper, but they all have the same business concept. So you have these 2,500 people being released in an area, all 2,500 have the same idea. And to me, for me, it could be great for someone else, but for me, that's psychologically, you know, depressing for me to fall into a group of other, uh, another, um, of other individuals. So with all that said, all of the things that we've done throughout the years are being brought to Utah. Not very many photographers can take a look at a team or a group that I run with for us to be able to create a product or service that is so powerful that people will pull out their checkbook, they will make clothing, they will jump on an airplane, they will pay for their way to us to spend a week with us. Most people will not call me up, message me, and ask, how did you do that? Um, a lot of people will not even reach out to me, but they will reach out to others and say, you know what, something is wrong with that. So whenever I put out a post saying that we're getting ready to start a project, I get people like models, for example, um, can you give me some more details on who's coming? Can you uh, explain to me your packages and who's financing this project? These are models, you know, I don't want to be demeaning or condescending, but these are models that, you know, how do you ask a company, a organization, you know, what are you doing? And you as the per you, the person asking for that, doesn't really have any credentials or even a platform to be asking such questions. So I try to ignore them to the best of my ability. It's kind of hard sometimes, but these people are coming to us because we have magazine access. We have airtime on, uh, on, um, on, on a couple networks. Pittsburgh, for those of you who don't know, we had 26 episodes in the Pit, uh, Pittsburgh area. Um, it was a um, radio station called Cozy and Verizon Not radio, BIOS. radio, TV, TV station. Uh, TV stations. Um, uh, th this was about two years ago. Now they have called us up and they're asking us to do reruns of that. And we have agreed, but with the stipulation of now we get more airtime. So what this means is we can get on this radio station, TV. excuse me, television station. We can get on this television station and we can now create more content. For example, at the six o'clock hour for us, if we want to do a half hour show, we can do it a half hour every week on the dot on a Wednesday if we would like or a Friday. But we also have five o'clock where if we have a designer, a company that really wants to get to 400,000 people, we can take the four o'clock hour for them. They can create their show. We have this access. To me, if I do the math, what that means is that an individual has the opportunity to put their information on television. So here's what I've done. I've put together, I've, I've used my political clout, my artistic clout to draw these people in from around the world. I've paid for, I've set up, I've invested my money, my experience, my time. I put all of this together myself. I've invested in me. The average person who tries to contact me is also looking for me to invest in them. That is something that I vigorously push back against because that tells me if an individual is not willing to invest in themselves, I think it's probably gonna be a bad investment for me to invest in them as well because they're not even believing in themselves. That's what everyone else sees from the outside, but I'm sure that individual actually believes that they're worth what they're asking for. That's okay, but that's not a discussion that I need to have with them. 
What we're looking for in this venture is individuals who believe in themselves, individuals who have a product, a story that they think that other people in the world will actually love to hear. We have the opportunity for them to invest in themselves, come out to us, contribute, and help me help you by paying your own way, paying for hair and makeup that you're going to be able to use anyway. You know, don't have someone else always invest in you. You know, put a little sweat, sweat equity in it yourself. So this event in Utah is us, you know, pushing around our political clout to bring designers from New York, photographers from New York, designers, models from Germany to this location. We're going to film. This film is going to be a commercial for if everything works out, uh, if everything works out okay, Malena Belafonte, who is Harry Belafonte's um, daughter-in-law, um, she's participating in this. She has a fashion show that is way up there on the scale during you know the spring and fall fashion week in New York, and she's putting a hand in this. How much I don't know, but I'll take anything that she'll give me. And look those names up. Very legitimate names. Your grandmother. The grandmother in the grave even knows who Harry Belafonte is. Very well known. If you know, if you're young and a millennial, if you never watched um, Beetlejuice, that's the song that everyone sang at the table. Mr. Banana, or whatever the name Banana of the song Boat. is, Banana Boat. So, um, with that said, we have a project, and it's probably going to be more interesting to photographers who want to come in and be around this worldwide collaboration to take your network and take it across you know, 4,500 miles uh, back to Germany and Europe um, for the mother who's supporting her child, you know, because there has to be some financing behind the modeling world. I can't, I don't have uh, deep enough pockets to finance everyone. So the mom who's investing in her child or a husband who's investing in his wife or daughter, um, this is the perfect opportunity for you guys to come to us and we can pretty much guarantee magazine coverage, we can guarantee television, television will be public access.